so I'm now here at the Green Timbers Park and I'm going to review some of this uh, some of my gadgets uh, the camera that I'm using so right now what we have here is this uh, Nikon uh, Z50 so this is the crop sensor the mirrorless uh, camera of uh, Nikon So one of the features of this uh, camera is you can flip this one and do it like this. This one can be flipped like that. that. So if not, not I'm if I'm not using a tripod, you can use this as a selfie. So you you can see this. So the camera. Uh, so you have this monitor here that can be flipped downwards and you can see yourself if you are going to take a selfie but right now I'm uh, using a tripod so uh, it's not possible but this this is the feature of this camera this uh, mirrorless uh, this is the first Nikon uh, mirrorless uh, crop sensor the camera so a little bit small And uh, I've uh, been using this for a couple of months right now, and I have taken lots of videos and picture of it. And it looks like it looks to me it's the, the performance is uh, really nice. So this one is the Tamron lens. What I'm using right now is. Uh, it's a crop, uh, crop uh, it's, it's also a crop lens so so basically for me this is the best combination of camera in a uh, telephoto lens this this lens is a uh, Tamron 18, uh, 18, 18 to 400 millimeter so you can go as wide as 18 millimeter in as uh, far as 400 millimeter so this one can uh, this is very convenient uh, to use when you are uh, doing some kind of uh, bird photography just uh, right like what I'm doing right now I'm do I'm trying to sh take some videos in photos of those uh, wood duck in the far side of this pond so and I'm basically obviously I'm using a tripod here so this is uh, one of my camera setup here I will be doing some more extensive uh, review on this uh, Tamron lens as well as this uh, Z50 Nikon uh, camera in the near future but right now it's just uh, this is uh, just a uh, basic information about this my setup the reason why I'm using this uh, setup is because uh, this Nikon uh, Z50 is a very small one small version of the full uh, compared to this uh, full version of the Nikon since this is the full frame this is the full frame camera so and it's a little bit smaller it's easy it's easy to handle uh, unlike the unlike this uh, full version of uh, Nikon mirrorless camera this is the C6 So I found that when uh, I'm going, I'm uh, doing some photography in the downtown area. This is more convenient because it's easy to handle. It's easy, it's easy to carry and very light. So overall, with this, with the Tamron, 
as a lens and in a tripod so basically this is a very uh, one perfect uh, setup for taking some uh, nice videos and uh, photos as well and the next one is uh, my Z6 Nikon this is the Z6 uh, full frame uh, first full frame uh, mirrorless uh, camera of Nikon we can also flip this uh, mirror or this monit monitor here but that's that's it you can only flip like that and like this that and like this that's that's how far this can go unlike for the Z Z50 wherein you can uh, clip this one here you can clip it as far as like that so you can use this as uh, when you want to take up uh, use this as a selfie camera right now I'm using a tripod so Basically, the tripod is on the way, but basically, when this is not on the tripod, this is a perfect, perfect camera for selfie. So, going back to the C50, uh, Z6, as you can see, it's uh, Z6. So, the monitor can only go as far as like this and like that that's it the angle is very limited but uh, nevertheless it is still useful so this the full frame uh, camera of Nikon is a little bit bigger compared with the Z50 but the good thing about this is it's a full frame it's a 35 millimeter full frame and I used to pair it with this uh, Sigma. This Sigma is the 150 millimeter to 600 millimeter lens of uh, Sigma. This is uh, one of the cheaper uh, cheaper version of the Sigma. The sports uh, version is a little bit uh, uh, more expensive twice more expensive than this one this is the contemporary uh, version of this uh, Sigma Sigma lens 150 to 600 millimeter so this is really ideal for taking uh, pictures for for uh, wildlife and uh, yeah so basically uh, another one is uh, so, so this is perfect setup for me because uh, we have a full frame here and at the same time we have this is super photo telephoto lens of uh, Sigma and now uh, it's in a bigger tripod of course because it's heavier so I need this uh, bigger tripod compared with the other one it is smaller so uh, I installed this one my camera set up my camera lens into this uh, newer newer brand uh, uh, holder I'm not sure what uh, I, I I forgot how to call this one because this one you can this is the ball for this one for this type of uh, this is the ball point style that uh, holds this uh, attached to the camera to the tripod whereas this one is this is for uh, use for uh, ideal for taking videos so the, the, the difference between uh, using uh, this one this type and this one is because you, when you are going to take a video it you will be avoiding some kind of jerky moments because this one has some kind of spring 
loaded the mechanism that will not allow you to make a jerky movement so what happens is when you try to move this one when you move the camera it's a little bit floyd it will not be jerky there's some kind of resistance and you can control the resistance here it's very smooth so when you are trying to take uh, some fast moving uh, subject it will be very smooth and uh, there's there's no jerky movement which i found out when i'm i'm using this kind of uh, setup which is the ball this is ideal only for a fix uh, when you're putting using uh, shooting a fixed uh, subject and ideal for photography but for a video taking it's better to use one of this kind so i'll be putting all the all i'll be putting all the links of this uh, of all of the gadgets that i'm using so just in case you're interested and uh, you can have it you can buy it from Amazon so this is a very nice setup so this is uh, my first camera uh, full frame camera and then uh, I've been using this for quite a while almost I think yeah almost uh, let's see yeah a couple of months and then uh, I decided to buy this uh, crop sensor the Z50 because I, 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 I like the features and uh, it's a little bit smaller especially when you are carrying a lot of uh, things in your bag it's, this is very nice so yeah so basically that's uh, the gadgets that I am using uh, especially uh, when I'm, I'm taking some uh, uh, photographs in videos and and before I forget I also have this uh, GoPro GoPro 8 this is also what I'm I use also this to take some videos so basically uh, this GoPro is really a camera that is designed for taking videos and there are some kind of advantage in this advantage of this one compared with this uh, regular camera uh, but basically I use this for time-lapse uh, for time-lapse and uh, for uh, when the subject is too close this is very ideal and it's really very convenient because it's very small so this guy is just I just put it here because I'm sometimes i put i'm i'm placing my cell phone on top of this yeah so it looks like the weather came back now the weather becomes becomes nice again hopefully the the clouds will will disappear from the sky and uh, so that I could be able to take more better videos because uh, the problem with these telephoto lenses are that uh, when uh, there's a low light the focusing of the camera will be affected it looks like it's going it takes time for the for the lens to catch up with a moving subject that's why it's a little bit blurry but when uh, there's a good a good sunlight uh, I found that there, there is no problem even when I'm uh, trying to take videos of fast moving subject like birds and all these ducks so that's uh, basically my basic review of my gadgets and uh, there's more to come so stay tuned.
Thank you.